In today's world, we always explore the quickie world of JavaScript programmers and their often complicated relationship with their known TypeScript. Well, what is going to be a quote that has to comedy, right? So JavaScript programmers write, these are artistic of the webs, turning lines of code into digital masterpieces. But come on, let's be honest. Sometimes JavaScript can be a little bit like that one friend who's fun at parties, but sometimes make you wonder, what on earth they are doing? What, what are they doing? Just what are they doing? But here's the kicker. JavaScript programmers are secretly grateful for TypeScript. Now entering TypeScript, JavaScript's more responsible sibling, which is like JavaScript decided to put on a tie and start taking life seriously. So imagine TypeScript comes in saying, hey, let's add some rules, make things more predictable. And JavaScript is like, rules? We don't need to, no stinking rules. Now it's like having a personal assistant who's always reminding you, hey, maybe declaring that variable type would be a good idea, huh? Or remembering that time your code broke into production? Let's not do that again. The journey of JavaScript programmer learning a TypeScript is like a rom-com. You never know what's gonna happen. First, there are skeptical types in my beautifully chaotic JavaScript, no way. But slowly, when they start to going through or seeing the benefits, better organization, fewer bug, it's a love story in the making. And let's talk about job interviews. JavaScript programmers are often face ultimate tests. Do you know TypeScript? It's like walking on a tightrope while juggling fire. On one side, you've got your JavaScript skill. On the other side, the looming expectation of TypeScript powers. No pressure, right? I don't think so about that one. But here is the thing that you all need to know. TypeScript doesn't just make JavaScript better. It makes JavaScript programmers feel like superheroes. Going into the wings, superheroes. They've got the power of JavaScript's flexibility with the add shield of TypeScript type, type safety. It's like Batman getting a new shiny bug-proof suite. Well, how about that? Batman would love it. Well, you know, JavaScript is like that friend who's a little all over the place. You ask him to hold on to a number and suddenly it's a string. Why? You ask. JavaScript just winks at this because I can. Now, TypeScript is like a librarian saying, excuse me, but in this library, we labor our book genres. JavaScript looks at the TypeScript like it's just been asked to clean its room. Wow. Uh, Okay, this is getting a little bit confusing. Let's stop this. There is a moment when TypeScript mm, sees there are catching errors and runtime. It's like watching someone discover fire. You mean, I know, can know my mistakes before everything crashes and burns. That's revolutionary. But let's not forget the classic TypeScript learning curve. Well, at first it's all sunshine and rainbows. You're going around, you're just learning. You feel like every other programming language, this is going to be a chill one, like PHP, like C, like R. Let me tell you something. It's not. It's not, man. It's not. Cut to two hours later, and it's more like, why are there so many errors? I just wanted to add a number and a string. Apologize for my aggressiveness by that moment, because I have anger issues with my software developer, our dev team, who they are always on my nerves with their TypeScript ability. So sorry about that. But getting back onto this, let's have a round of applause for JavaScript programmers who have mastered TypeScript. Like, I don't know how to thank them all the time. These folks have gone through the digital equivalent of bootcamp. They have seen things debug things and come out the other side with their braces and same columns intact. Although they have sacrificed a lot of time and their life on this. Now, let's talk about the moment a JavaScript programmer decides to embrace a TypeScript. It's like a scene from a dramatic makeover show. There is resistance. There is every kind of stuff, there is drama, but oh, the adventure that evade them, remember the first time they encounter TypeScript generics, it's like they've stumbled into a parallel universe. You're telling me I can have types within types? Is this inception? Am I dreaming? Let's not ignore a classic any type situation. Every TypeScript newbie thinks any is their best friend. Oh, TypeScript too strict? Just a little slap on an any on it, and we're back to good oi. JavaScript land, fast forward a few weeks and it's like they've unleashed a Pandora's box of why is it not working? You might understand why is it not working. Please don't make this mistake. I'm begging you. The journey from JavaScript to TypeScript is filled with twists and turns. No, it's not. One day, you're writing a JavaScript code like a rock star and the next, you're googling how to TypeScript this and you're all the time questioning your life choices. But here's the thing. Once a JavaScript programmer gets the hang of a TypeScript, there's no going back. They start seeing 
things in a different way. They see different interfaces, internet dreams, and they go around telling everyone, you know, this could have been prevented if you use TypeScript. Bro, just don't use it. Use use everything else rather than the TypeScript for your backend, please. And when they go back to playing old JavaScript, if it's like riding a bike without the hands, and sure, it's thrilling, but deep down, they know they're just one untyped variable away from a disaster. The transformation, of course, is complete when they start preaching the TypeScript groups. Have you heard about our Laura Savior TypeScript? Oh, yeah, let's ask her that. Well, please, stop. Stop showing me pictures of gay black dudes kissing. Stop it. It's turning me on. Stop. Every programmer, every developer I see, I want to kill them if they tell me we use Java TypeScript. Come on, it was a joke, of course not. I love all the guys who use TypeScript. I love all the guys who use TypeScript and JavaScript at the same time. You know, I just feel bad for their lives. They're just waiting for their lives, I guess. But whatever. It's their own choices and their own lives. Guys, for the next time, be a wait for another cool video. If you liked our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. You might have been bored a little bit, but don't worry. Decoding words is more fun than just boring. See you soon.